Hello, and welcome to another session of Electronic Assisted Astronomy with an 8-inch Schmidt Cassegrain Telescope. My name is Pete, and we're observing as normal from the Isle of Wight, a small island off the south coast of the UK. For the last couple of days before breakfast, I've been setting my scope up under cloudless blue skies to observe the moon. Today, 7am, the moon is 22% illuminated and is 35 degrees high in the southeastern sky. The sun is already up and it stands at an altitude of 15 degrees on the eastern horizon, some 56 degrees distance from the moon. We're going to be using my trusty Celestron CPC-100 at f10 and a ZWASI 533 mono camera and a recently purchased Essiboni IR pass filter, which costs the princely sum of £16.99. The filter blocks all light below 685 nanometers and only lets through the low frequency red and near infrared light. The advantage of using the filter is to diminish the effects of atmospheric seeing. That's the wobbling and distorting of the image we see through the scope when observing the moon. By reducing the effects of seeing, the image should be sharper. The filter also darkens the sky background and improves the contrast of the image, which is good because right now the sky background is quite blue and bright. The last, but definitely not least component of the system is SharpCap's planetary solar lunar live stacking tool. This allows live stacked observing of solar system objects and is quite simply amazing. Thank you, Robin Glover. So, before we get into the fun bit of actually observing the moon, I wanted to try a completely non-scientific comparison between an old Skywatcher moon and sky glow filter that I unintentionally left on the scope and the new IR pass filter, which I replaced it with straight away. So what I'm going to do is video both and place them side by side for your comparison. First of all, each showing a live view and then both being live stacked with exactly the same stacking settings and sharpening quality, etc. Let's have a look. The first thing to say is that I did try and focus these exactly the same, but the moon and sky glow filter was definitely softer and much harder to focus. I'm also trying to balance the darks and mids as well using the mini histogram in SharpCap just trying to get the best image. I think I'll leave it up to you guys to decide which you think is the, the best view. Um, as far as I'm concerned for £16.99, I think the IR pass filter was pretty good. Okay, let's get on to the fun bit of observing the moon. So I'm gonna be using some of the features in the Virtual Moon Atlas application. Now this is an excellent tool to gain more information of what we're seeing. It has some great features, one of which is using lunar altitude data to create height profiles of the lunar surface. I'm also going to annotate the live stacked images as we explore the lunar surface. Let's observe. <laughs> 